Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Pyatt and welcome to my YouTube channel. My goal is to help as many martial artists as possible in their journey and study of Bujutsu, whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced martial artist. I do videos every Friday, so if you like and enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to get more just like it. Now some of you may know, in my uh, regular day job, I am a physics teacher. So this week we're going to take another look at the scientific side of some of the martial arts that we do. So in a previous video, titled the uh, one most important concept in martial arts you've probably never heard of, right? We talked at quite length about the concept of effective mass. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to put a link to it both at the end of the video and in the description below. Have a watch of that video first, because if you don't, part of this video may make no sense whatsoever. So we're going to focus this week on weight and the correct use of the word weight when we're talking about how we deliver power. So what we want to try and avoid is using sort of flippant words to say I'm trying to transmit power or I'm trying to transmit force or I'm trying to transmit energy because all of those things in a physics context have a specific meaning. So we've already talked about how the fact that one of the most important things to transmit force is our effective mass and how we unify the body. Now weight and mass are not the same thing. Basic GCSE physics tells us that. So a couple of basic differences you should be aware of. First of all mass is measured in kilograms and weight is measured in newtons. So weight is a type of force. Um, another important difference is that weight is a force specifically because of gravity. So it is always downwards. Weight has a direction. And so when we use our weight, we either use force in a downward direction. In other words, we're using gravity to assist us to develop force within our technique. Or we're using a component or some part of our weight in order to do that. So I'm going to show you what I mean as we go through this. And one other little bit of a consideration when we're using the word weight is that generally speaking, whenever we're using weight to add power or force to our technique, what we're actually doing is we're converting gravitational potential energy into some other form, usually kinetic. So it usually involves a drop during the technique. You'll see what I mean as I give you some examples. So. Let's start with some simple examples. One of my favourite kata in Gojuru is Cypher. Right? And Cypher is a really good example of a kata that really uses weight well. Because we have the first uh, movement and then followed up by the drop. And we drop our weight right down. And that's a common feature in a lot of Nahate kata. So if we just do a really simple application for this, when we block it doesn't matter. What I don't do is, I don't just use my heart, arm. I use my whole body dropping down into my opponent. I'm using my mass, but as because I'm dropping, it becomes the use of my weight. So it's the right use of the word. So I'm coming in, and I'm just dropping straight through, either straight to the jaw or to the nose. So if you're on the inside, and I'm using this feeling, okay? You can watch plenty of videos of Figuana Sensei demonstrating that beautifully, really coming down and striking really hard. Another really simple example would be as the punch comes in, we enter, and then here, one of the most lovely techniques, our dropping elbow. So we don't just, just use the arm, we're not just using the muscles here, we're going to bring our body up and we're going to drop so that we come straight down, straight through our opponent. So again, it's this quite overt dropping action that is utilising our weight. A couple of more slightly less obvious examples are when we transition our stance from high to low. So an example, again really simple, we take the arm, we bring Kazushi, and from this position I'm just going to drop the foot back. Just like Cypher, same thing, but I'm just taking the arm. So again, and so you can see how that creates a whip with my opponent, I'm just adding to his momentum. His momentum is coming this way, I'm merging and using my weight to give him some extra. You can see that again big drop in gravitational potential energy that I'm using to give it back to him with interest. Another really important example when we use our weight is in sacrifice throws or supemiwaza. So sacrifice throws are any throw where in the process of executing the throw you deliberately sacrifice your own balance, you totally commit, you use your weight to take your opponent over. So a really simple example would be valley drop. So, so if we do it from just a simple punch, right? so I can break the arm, I'm just going to take it off for training, and all I'm going to do is throw my shoulders towards his feet. 
But the important thing is, I need to make sure that my weight is going to drop and I want it to be right underneath him. So I get him on his toes as I enter. So I bring him up and then whip over. So one more time. So I can do the technique, just take the arm, and all I'm going to do is pull, drop my weight underneath. And I just use that to drop them over. Another simple example, slightly different. So Yoko, Satemi Waza, Sai, if I just drop, I'm just using the weight that I have to help topple my opponent to take him over. So that's just some simple examples of utilising weight. So one really important thing is try not to use the word weight when we mean the word mass. So if you remember, the key thing is that weight always has to be downwards. If it isn't downwards or some component of it isn't downwards, you're probably not using your weight. If I'm just rotating my hips and delivering a punch, I'm actually utilising my effective mass. If, however, I have a slight downward action in the delivery, then I can use my weight. So an example of that would be in um, Seisha, as an example, at the end of the kata, we have the mayageri quite often, that is executed, either as a crescent kick or a mayageri, and then drop in the punch. So is that drop in the body weight, perfect example of using weight in conjunction with just regular hip rotation and mass. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you haven't checked out our other video on effective maps, feel free to do that by clicking the link here. You can check out more of our videos by clicking the links here and here, and you can subscribe by clicking the button in this corner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below, uh, and see you next week.